Good afternoon, Ennis. I'm Father Julian Borda, and it is a joy, as always, to be here today to talk to you about discerning God's will. And sadly, today we have reached the final video in our series. Today we're going to be talking about a lifetime of discernment. How discernment isn't just one moment where we figure out once and for all, this is what God wants for us for the rest of our lives. But actually, discernment is something that happens over and over every day and happens at each important step of our lives. God is working in us and he is guiding us, not just in the big things, but also in the little things. And so, at all of these weeks, we've been trying to understand what God is doing when he is telling us what to do. How do we know what God is teaching us when we know what God wants us to do, when we don't know, uh, and when we are told to be patient? And the truth is that all of the above can be true at the same time for different things in life, and different things will become more and less important over time. So right now, for me, there are certain things on which God has given me great clarity, such as being here at St. Thomas and loving this vocation and this job as a priest. And there are things that are less clear uh, in my life, you know, when, uh, you know, when children will come along or what God wants me to do in five years, what God wants me to do in 10 years, those are different questions, and those are things that if someone were to ask me, I'd say, I don't know the answer to, but I know that when the time comes, God will give me that answer. So I think right now, uh, for a lifetime of discernment, the most important thing for us to keep in mind is that our lives have a set span of time. God said that the span of man's life will be 120 years and no longer. And so that's what we see today is that the very, very longest anyone in the present day can live is 120 years. So we have to think about our lives as something that can be several years, but is actually in the grand scheme of things pretty short. So we need to be thinking about making the most of the time that we have with the time that God has given us as a gift. I believe that a verse that is really important for us to keep in mind, a really special verse, is from Psalm 90, it's verse 12. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. In the Psalm, it talks about that most people live 70 years, maybe 80, and so we're asked to number our days properly. God himself is eternal. He, uh, for him, a thousand, day, a thousand years are like one day. But for us, we experience each day one at a time. And so for us, we need to number our days properly and understand this day that I have is a gift from God. And I want to spend it. I hope to spend it. I pray that I will spend it to glorify God and to worship him and to do his will in my life. And so that's something that is very important for each day. We can apply our hearts to wisdom. Our hearts can be applied to many things, right? They can be applied to foolishness. They can be applied to selfishness. They can be applied to what we in our own limited understanding is best. But if we number our days properly, if we understand that God has given us this amount of time and that each day is his gift, then we may know that our hearts can be applied to wisdom and to fearing the Lord, which is, as the Bible says, the beginning of wisdom. And so for this, I believe that one thing that is truly important, one thing that I have found in my vocation, I believe many people will find, is that the, day, the importance of daily prayer cannot be overstated. That 
knowing God, loving God, being in constant relationship with God, you know, not being apart from God, as hard as that can be, is really important, is really key to numbering our days properly and to being wise in our hearts. And we see that in Paul, in Paul's writings, that he says, pray without ceasing. That is in each of the steps that we've talked about. When we know God's will and when we don't, when we're told to wait, when we're looking at all the feelings and signs and logic, and when we're just trying to understand why God would want me to do this thing. All of these. The key is to pray and to pray each day, to treat each day as the gift from God. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So I hope that this series has been helpful to you as you discern God's will in your lives. And I look forward to continuing to talk to all of you and to help you in your discernment. May we all do God's will here on earth as it is done in heaven. God bless you all. Take care.